We begin this morning with the real news, the growing firestorm over the revoked security clearance for former CIA director John Brennan. Brennan is a fierce critic of President Trump. Now there are plans to cancel the clearances for other officials. The president is facing mounting criticism from the intelligence community for this unprecedented action. After Brennan's clearance was revoked this week, more than a dozen high-ranking former intelligence officials have come to his defense. Mr. Trump is spending the weekend at his New Jersey golf course. Errol Barnett is traveling with the president. Errol, good morning. Good morning. The White House has drafted additional documents revoking the security clearances of current and former intelligence officials. This is according to the Washington Post, and apparently President Trump is ready to sign them. And this comes as more than 70 former Former intelligence officials go public with their displeasure with the commander in chief. The fact that he's using a security clearance of a former CIA director as a pawn in his public relations strategy, I think, is just so reflective of somebody who, quite frankly, I don't want to use this term, maybe, but he's drunk on power. Former CIA director John Brennan speaking out against President Trump for evoking his security clearance. Retaliation, he says, for criticism of the president's policies and character. Like this tweet from July, when Brennan called Trump's performance at a press conference with Russian leader Vladimir Putin, quote, nothing short of treasonous. I think this is just another example of Mr. Trump trying to frighten and intimidate others. But I can tell you, these are not the type of people who are going to be bullied or intimidated by someone of the likes of Mr. Trump. There's no silence. If anything, I'm giving him a bigger voice. Speaking to reporters while leaving the White House Friday, President Trump was asked if a current Department of Justice official should lose his clearance, as some conservatives are suggesting. I think Bruce Orr is a disgrace. I suspect I'll be taking it away very quickly. In protest, 15 former top intelligence officials from both Democratic and Republican administrations went on the record with their displeasure at the president's actions, saying Mr. Trump's motives have, quote, everything to do with an attempt to stifle free speech. They are joined by 60 lower-ranking former CIA officers who also signed a letter supporting Brennan and warning that Mr. Trump is threatening the security of the country. I don't talk about that. The president also refused his own advice in publicly taking sides as jury deliberations were underway in the federal trial of former campaign chairman Paul Manafort. He worked for me for a very short period of time, but you know what? He happens to be a very good person, and I think it's very sad what they've done to Paul Manafort. Now, the president's sympathetic words for Manafort could be a sign of his intention to pardon him if he is found guilty of any of the 18 crimes that he's been charged with as it relates to bank and tax fraud. But even that pardon would have to wait as Manafort next month faces another trial in Washington, D.C., with the special counsel announcing it has three times as much evidence in that case than it had in Virginia. Elaine? Errol Barnett with the president in New Jersey. Thank you.